Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. Welcome to part three of our playthrough. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly say, if you guys hear me cough or anything, or you may sound like my voice might be going out, that's because it is. It gets really cold here in Arizona, and while I do a lot of talking for you guys through making these videos, my throat has actually gotten kind of bad. So uh, I got a bunch of Gatorade right here that I'm going to be drinking. So I may be drinking a bunch of these throughout the episode just to keep my voice as, this is going to sound really bad, but as wet as possible because I don't want to sound like I'm going through puberty where like I, my voice is hoarse. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. I might have strained my voice doing something. I'm not quite sure, but where we left off at, we just got to another city. It says Randy went to a turn of city, so you'd better make your way there too. So we're on our way there. However, there's a couple things we're going to be doing right off the bat. Uh, there is a couple over here where I'm paused off at, which is ironic as paused off over here. I didn't think these were the elderly couple, but I will say. If you have a Pokemon shield save data or sword save data, you can talk to the older man and get Jirachi. If you have a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee uh, save file on your Switch, then you can talk to the older lady and she'll give you Mew. These are the only shiny locked Pokemon in this game. So you can do this as many times as possible. Um, once per save file though. So if you have like... I think eight files or eight profiles on a computer or on a computer on a switch then uh all you have to do is just go and talk to them a bunch of times with the save on that file and you're good so you don't have to necessarily have it downloaded you just have to have the save data on your switch because i've played let's go eevee and pokemon shield i can get both so let's see i there we go. I'm going to move my drinks over so I can actually see it. I've gathered you've uh, seen a Wishing Star before, which is from Sword and Shield. Uh, you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it'd be perfect for you. Jirachi. So we got Jirachi. Of course, it cannot be... Uh, it cannot be shiny, so there's no point in shiny hunting it, sadly. Uh, would you like to nickname it? No. However, I'll send it to a box for right now. But I may be adding them to my team. Uh, I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. And now let's talk to her. Why, hello there. It looks like you played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure with Sinnoh uh, with this Pokemon? Mew. All right. Would you like to give this nickname? No. Send to a box because I'm going to look at something and show you guys something real quick. That's pretty cool about these two Pokemon. I'm sure it will be a good partner to you. So we're going to go here. Go to our boxes. Okay. Jirachi and Mew. Mew is level 1. Jirachi is level 5. Which is really cool because you get to actually use these Pokemon to level them up. So, another thing that's pretty cool. Check summary. You become the original trainer of said Pokemon. Even though it was given to you through the people as a trade... Uh, they make you the original trainer for these, so no matter what level it is, no matter how many gym badges you have, this Pokemon and Mew will listen to you. They won't have any kind of uh, problems. So a lot of people get confused with like the badges and everything. The badges only if you get traded a Pokemon. If you're not the original trainer of the Pokemon, then it won't listen to you. If you got it through a trade, or if you got it through, like, a different game, you used Pokemon Home or whatever to put it up through there, if you don't have the required badge to use it, then it will not listen to you, and it will, you know, obviously be really tough to use during battle. So, you were the original trainer from the beginning. These will not uh, misbehave. These will listen to you through battle. So, that is really cool. Um... I'll check the nature here in a minute, but I just want to show you guys. Same thing with Mew. Uh, the Pokedex number is going to be question mark. The reason you guys actually can't see this. So I'm going to move my face cam real quick. Just real quick. Uh, 
as I just turned it off, it's fine. Uh, you guys can see that the Pokédex number is actually question marked out. Now, the reason why this is uh, question marked is because you don't have the National Pokédex yet. When you get the National Pokédex, these will become, the question marks will go to the actual Pokédex number. So, you can use it for right now, and it's not going to de uh, deter from the game or anything like that, but... Uh, you are, again, the original trainer. Let's go ahead and see. This has a rash nature. I came from Flow Aroma Town. I like dry food. Cool. Nope. And then, again, Jirachi's Pokedex number. Again, I'll show you guys this. I didn't see it with Jirachi, but yeah, it, it makes sense. He, his Pokedex number is also question marked out. Um... Once you get the national decks, that fixes it though, so you're fine. Uh, it won't, it doesn't deteriorate from it uh, at all. Came from Blue Aroma Town. Uh, level 5, it's got a naive nature. I like sweet food, and it's alert to sounds. So, I thought about putting these two in my team somewhere. I think it would be really, really, really cool to go ahead and use them, level them up a little bit. I may level them up off camera though because I do have a good team for right now. I am currently hatching the uh, the alien egg for Manfi, so I think that egg looks really freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. I hope they like. I wish they would do more eggs like that. Um, just have it like if it's an alien or something like that. Have that. Have that as the egg. It looks really cool. Anyways, so. Uh, this should get, I think this is getting ready to hatch soon, so let's go ahead and check the egg watch. It may be close to hatching, so it will hatch soon here in a little while. I'm not going to put Mew and Jirachi in my team just yet. I do want to level them up a little bit off camera, and then I'll be adding them to my team. So, we are in Flow Aroma Town. Let's go ahead and just do some exploring real quick. Um... Uh, just to see what we have over here. Sometimes Pokemon only appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Yeah, there are honey trees. There are specific Pokemon that will only come during honey trees. So uh, we are going to do the catch them all Pokemon. Uh, I am going to do my best to kind of see them all. But I will definitely be catching them all that way. I think you do have to catch them all in the local Pokédex. That way you can actually get the Shiny Charm. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to catch them. Uh, you could just see them all and then get the Poké Radar and then do Shiny Hunting. But that's all post-game. So we're going to do our best to get through the actual game. This may be a little bit of a longer playthrough. I don't know how long I can really do it. I can really only... I think. An hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half is about the longest I could probably upload and get them uploaded within like a day. So again, if there's not an upload one day, it's because it's a really long episode and it's going to take a lot to kind of get it edited and my computers can only push it up so far. So I do apologize if there isn't a video one day. Uh, just know that that means there's going to be an extra long video the next day. So... Uh, I'm just gonna go until I can not go anymore if I have to chop it up in pieces and pull uh, So welcome to flow aroma the town of flowers Flowers and more flowers. Yeah, you should plant some flowers of your own too. Yay for flowers. I never understood <clears throat> I never understood the mechanics of planting in the games Again, it's been years since I played it, and I don't remember doing this. Um, I wanted to get some flowers and run around the meadow, but some Team Galactic guys and Snazzy Alphas came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Okay. Uh, do you know about Gracidia flowers? No, I don't. They are given as boutique, uh, bouquets. To express feelings of gratitude, it's an enduring tradition around these parts. I'm trying to get in the door, and I'm hitting. So, a lot of people have had that problem where, you know, you're trying to run around, you keep hitting the sides of the walls or the table. That's a lot of, that's a big complaint around a lot of people. 
someone actually went through and explained that it's because the games are used to the 2D. They're still used to the 2D aspect of the uh, of how the games are, not the 3D aspect. So where you're using the D-pad, you may not run into it as much, but um, where you're running around and everything, it can be kind of hard. Like, I'm actually trying to get around that. So it does make sense the joystick is kind of, uh, you know, not the best. You can still run by uh, holding B and using the D-pad if you really want to not run into anything. So, if you want to do it that way, uh, you can do it that way. If you want to use the joystick, you can do it that way. It's kind of whatever your play style is. Uh, do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Sure. Here are some teams for the move pluck. Q. Not quite sure I'm going to use it for any of my Pokemon right now. Alright, Flower Rumatown was a barren, desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it uh, because it uh, was such a sad place. But now, nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do, and then one day, someone expressed thanks for blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Or bloom. Isn't that strange and wonderful? That's, that's cool. In small places like that, I may use the D-pad and just hold B. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Pick a pack of colors. Flower shop. Free berries available. I don't remember doing any of the flowering. Uh, I don't know why. Um, again, it's been years since I played it, so a lot of this is just bringing back memories. I do remember some of it um, again, and it, it's nostalgia for me as why I'm playing it. But berry trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. Let's see. I don't think they were in here. I think they went past the meta. Trainer, please. Water berries using spray duck watering can. Okay. Cool. Got that. Um, why was my dude walking? Again, I don't know if my controller is getting drift or something, but that's weird. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the bag real quick. Alright. We got some TMs. Cool. So, we can go to the key items, and uh, for right now, I'm going to register this to the top button. Alright. Now... When I hit pl uh, plus, because I only have one thing added into it, it won't work. But when you add multiple things to it, you can choose which one you want. You do get a shovel and all that kind of stuff, so, you know, we'll be doing that later in the Pokey Radar, of course. A single berry will grow from a plant that makes several berries. By hunting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you will help us spread more berries everywhere. Give me a Rost Berry. Thank you. Hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some stickers? Okay. You can get stickers over here just by changing berries. And again, stickers are used on to decorate the Pokeball because then you have different effects when you do the whole, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Poke... The little dancing thing, that that's back. You dress up your Pokemon and you can dance around and all that. I don't have any berries because literally just started playing not long ago. But I do know I do want to get some stickers because I do think it would look pretty cool. Such as like burning sticker A. You know, get stuff like that. And uh, needs 10 raspberries. Awesome. So I will come back to you later. Because I would like to decorate some of those. But. There are two orange. Yes, let's pick one. So we're going to pick up some berries along the way over here. Sure, let's plant. Let's plant that. And then let's water it. I said, how much are you going to water it? 
I had two cherry berries. Yes, let's pluck them. And then let's plant it. Let's just go ahead and water it. Well, that's water. I'm going to water my throat because, ooh. Again, I don't know what it is, but my throat is going, like, really, really bad. So, uh, if my voice sounds a little off-kilter, or, um, if it sounds like it's going out, uh, just know it probably is, and I'm trying to keep my throat as wet as possible so I can talk to you guys through this. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? What am I? Uh, I don't know. I, I simply, I'm simply, yeah, I simply love it here. Atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? No, I came here to go through the place. So I don't think there's any items over here. Bear trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. You trying to rhyme, I see. Let's go ahead. I actually talked to these guys already. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Pokemart because with some of the additional earnings I have, I need to get a couple of things. That meaning I need... I don't have it yet. Oh. I thought it would have a revive. There is uh, not a revive, okay. Okay. Mm. I don't want to spend all my money, so let's go ahead and just get that. Thank you. And there's a way, um, there's like a battle finder and everything on there, which allows you to go back through and battle some of the NPCs that you've actually already battled. And there's a way that you can grind a lot of money out of some of the richer characters in this game uh they're i'm assuming they are rich people because they actually they're an older couple and they look pretty profoundly established uh but you can go and uh you i guess it's like every hundred steps uh you can use the pokey finder between the two of them and then you can just start grinding it up i watched it on austin john play this video yesterday i may do that just to get like a buttload of money uh, in the game because I'm sorry I like feeling comfortable in the game monetarily wise I very much uh, was very comfortable in Sword and Shield uh, and I just I sold like a bunch of stuff so um, I would find a bunch of treasure and sell it and I got like over four million dollars in that game if I dress up and go to the TV station do block TV with my Pokemon can everyone in the region see my Pokemon um, that's how TV works the shelves are jammed with colorful Pokemon games. I'm not wanting to look at the shelves. You can't buy berries or ribbons at Pokemarts. Of course you can't. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and head out. The next area we're going to go to is through here. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers, this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain, this is a pretty decent assignment, but bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Uh, you're just gonna say the same thing. Okay. Um, they're preventing me from going over there. What, what am I supposed to do? Go to the right, I guess. Alright. Route 205. Looks like we can get some berries, chest of berries. Sure, let's plant. Let's plant another chest of berries. Let's just plant the ones that we are getting. Alright. That way we can get more of them as we need it. Alright, let's plant this one. Alright. I don't know if this is going to water both of them.
Okay. What is your name? Help, help, trainer, please. Can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but all the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Uh, great. We Team Galactic are conducting research in Eternal Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma Town. We are also using the energy of the Valley Windworks for something, but that is of no concern to you. Rude! There's a freaking kid right there and you're just gonna push me out? That's rude. Alright, well, um, pick up this potion real quick. You know, I'm gonna check something real quick. The egg will hatch soon, so this is gonna be the episode where it hatches. When this hatches, I will move either Jirachi or Mew in and start leveling them up as well. Weasel, let's go ahead and catch one of those for the Pokédex. Alright, I don't want to kill it. Let's go ahead and just scratch it. Hopefully that doesn't kill it. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and throw this. Gotcha. Nice. Alright, we'll just send it to a box as I will level it up here in a while because I do need a water type. And Buizel, I believe, is also a water type. Hatcherisu! Awesome, I'm catching this one. I am so catching this one. I've always found Patchery so cute. I'm gonna have to put one of these in my team. Let's just go ahead. I'm okay with my attack balls. But I don't want to kill it. I don't want to get a critical on it either. You. And now we throw a Pokemon. Also, another thing that people have been telling me about on this game, um, this game isn't like the older ones where if you knock the health out of a Pokemon, catch it, and send it to the Poke, uh, the box where the health would heal up, the health will not heal up on these Pokemon. So when you send it to a box, the health is going to be the same as when you caught it. So just be aware of that. Uh, keep an eye on the health of your Pokemon before you go into a battle so you can make sure if they're low, you can heal them up. Also, Shinx is evolving. Awesome. Luxio. Can't wait for it to be a Luxray. Luxray is definitely going to be in my final team. <laughs> Luxray is definitely going to be in my final team. Oh, wow. Starly's evolving, too. Wow. Awesome. Congratulations to Starly evolved to Staravia. Nice. I don't know if Story is going to be in my final team. I'm going to go and fight it, but... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to give it a name. I'll send it to a box right now. So, before it gets too far along, I will say that if the videos do get too long, and I don't get to say, hey, see you guys in the next one, peace, um, that's because I'm having to chop it down to an actual, like, half video because it just won't let me upload the long, as long as I would like. So, I just want to say if that happens, I am sorry.
but just stay tuned for the next video because we're going to continue playing through the entire story and I'll be uploading them one after another. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything else new over here. The Shellos. I doubt this will work, but you never know. Sometimes it might. Like that. Okay. Cool. Shellos was caught. Nice. I don't believe that there would be anything else. Fury swipes. No. Let's not do that. Alright. Got Shellus over there. Again, me and my boyfriend will trade off camera the ones that we don't have. Um, I am assuming that since uh, this is a patch of Yusu that I won't be uh, finding any of the other ones. So, let's just go ahead and kill this one off. I'm sorry, Patrice, you're cute, but I don't need another one. Awesome. Okay. Let's just go go ahead, let's go through here, because we're going to have to talk to this guy. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out of there not part of Team Galactic. Give me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay. Well, I'm going to get in after you run away anyways. So. That's fine. Yeah, this is going to be an easy fight. Like that. You do it a normal type, dude. Alright. Again, I always laugh at how hideous the bull cuts are on these guys. Isn't that just great, getting owned by some kid? Every time I'm trying to record, there's like a helicopter or something right there. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with the key works key. Or the works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. The cohorts in my flower patch have only the only other one. I'm no longer the loser. You are definitely a loser. Okay. Okay, so... What, am I going to have to come up over here? Alright, that's weird. So I can't get in through there. I guess I'm about to go through the other side of it. Oh, okay. Alright guys, I had to text somebody real quick. Um, pretty important, but we didn't go anywhere. We just got through the forest. Let's go ahead and see what Team Galactic is up to. Do as we say, the Team Galactic will have that honey. This just sounds so weird and bad. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. This kid is a witness, what do we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple, we sure the bat rat stays quiet. Sure, I'm the brat. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do the uh, the fire type move. I wasn't thinking. Well, that may have been a critical hit, but I didn't do that, so. Alright, he's gone. Okay. 
You just keep using the same one because you're using the bug type Pokemon. Easy. You do level 14. Oh, you took down that one. I'm pretty sure the other one's gonna come up and try to fight me too. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. Battling you right after my killer has awakened you gives me the edge. Not really. He didn't hit me at all. Actually, no, he hit me once. Yeah, that's because of my stupidity. Zubat! We'll just see how Ember does. Almost. Avoid the attack, let's just go ahead and Ember it again. some decent Pokemon. <laughs> That's sad to say about your Pokemon. He's just not a good enough trainer. This Brat's tough, like, really, really tough. Tough than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. No, you don't. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. What's this name? They seem to have forgotten it. It's Works Key. Okay. There's no use to me. You may as well have it. Thank you. Alright, thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. Yes, bowl cuts are very weird. No offense to anybody with a bowl cut. Uh, what they were saying didn't take a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I'll make a lot of sense either. I needed to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? Jar of honey. Oh, well, thank you. If you saw that honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. That's cool. I just want to check to see if there's anything else over here. Let's go through here. If you're hunting on a tree, check back later to see if uh, the tree is rustling. If I see rustling, it gets my hopes up because there's a good chance there's a rare Pokemon. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Q. Q. Uh, I'm not going to put it on that tree. I am going to go through here since now I have the works key. Let's go through here. And let's go through here. Would you like to use the works key? Yes. Alrighty. Alright. You have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I'm a loser in this after all. There's no time. So pity I gotta alert the commander. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm down over here. Yeah, the red, red shirt, or the red haired girl is the commander. This is how professional this is. Sure, you're gonna throw one Pokemon, aren't you? Yeah. What's it gonna be? A Zubat? Cascoon. Ah, uh, alright, it's a different version of the Cascoon that I fought earlier, but. Ember. Easy. Yep, critical hit. Give me the money. Give me the money. It's so bad. Like, I beat their Pokemon and then I take, like, I take their money. Like, in a sense, I'm a robber. I mean, I said as it is. Alright. Uh, let's go through here. And sure, let's just fight this guy. Q. 
You were challenged by Team Galactic. Cool, I guess. Go, Monferno, I know you can do it! Yeah, considering that it's a bug type. You gotta just spit fire on it, you're good. Ram meow. You have a move for that too. That does nothing. It just flinches me. Thank you. Down. All right. Leveled up. Star Ravy. Nice. I really don't like kids. Uh, what happened to tough trainers? Well, technically, I am a tough trainer. I'm just a kid, too. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. But let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Well, y'all are gonna leave. Simple as that. Commander Mars. Astonish really doesn't do a whole lot. I'm beating it, that's what I'm doing. Dead. See? That, that's what I'm doing. Mars. Ah. For ugly. No, let's keep going. Another normal type. Uh, my dude might flinch. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. May have to kill him up after this, but that's okay. On the burn of putting in work. Oh man, that thing's eating the berries. Good. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna heal him up after this because he put in work. Alright, nice, nice. I might need to use Zubat for a little bit, level him up a little bit. He's kind of slacking. How rude! Calling me an annoying brat. I messed that one up. Alright, that's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It's for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Who's right there? You're stinky, go show her now. Wow, bossy. You had the you made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. And in case you guys don't know, if you don't mess up in the ghost area, you have to come back to this little area at night on a Friday, and you'll see Drifloon. So this is one of the ways to get Drifloon and Drifloon. And I think he'll be like right over here. So, yeah. Oh, egg is hatching! Ah, it looks so cute. And we have Manfee! 
that's three new Pokemon. Well, technically, we've got quite a few new Pokemon in this episode. Would you like to give Manfi a nickname? No, I'm not going to give it a nickname. But I do want to see its nature. Manfi right there. Check summary. Alright. This Pokemon is pretty hardy by nature. Nice. I was in. Uh, I was at the Valley Windworks. It's mischievous. It happily eats anything. That's nice. All right, old man, for you're gonna be part of the team for a little bit. I need to heal up my starter Pokemon because. Hang on, I'm gonna try using this one. Cause I got more of them. That's fine. Um, okay, so we got one honey jar. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. Save your progress. Nice. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, that's cool for this first episode. We fin we beat Team Galactic in the Floral City. We got Jirachi, Mew. And now, Manfi. So, we have those for our area. Uh, we have those for our area. We have those for our uh, team for right now. Uh, I'm going to level them up off camera for a little bit. But I may record a little bit more after this video. Uh, just to get a couple of days worth of videos up and edited. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be back with another one. I don't know if I'll be going to an hour or not. But yeah, stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.